My hair got thicker. Really? The rosemary and gloves challenge. This is my hair. I'm so grateful to have you here and for telling me for the first time, hello and welcome to my channel. I used dried rosemary for this challenge and if you have fresh rosemary, please go ahead and use it. But if you are using the dry one, make sure you wash the one you are going to use that very day because I noticed that mine has dust so make sure you wash it, rinse it properly before you add in your hair. I put my rosemary leaves in a jar, then I add 1 teaspoon of clove into it, then I add hot water and it's ready after 24 hours. Rosemary prevents hair loss, it fights against dandruff, it also promotes hair growth and stimulate blood circulation clove adds shine to your hair it promotes hair growth it improves blood circulation also protects your hair strands from damage and controls hair loss and strengthen your hair in the fridge for as long as it stays hello icons welcome or welcome back in today's video in today's video i'm going to be doing seven days intense clove and rosemary challenge i've done this challenge before and i want to do it again i've done the 14 days clove challenge and i did the seven days clove challenge but the seven days clove challenge i did was not intense as this one this one i have clove butter clove oil and clove spray this is my well braided hair i just made this hair and i really want to try if i can see any difference in seven days on my new braided hair this is the second day of this clove and rosemary challenge i was using my spray bottle but my spray bottle was not giving me what i want so i decided to pour it on my hair just like that so that i can cover my whole hair you know clove has protein so that if i using clove daily just like i'm doing here you will know how to moisturize your hair and make it in the way that it will not dry out this is the third day in my seven days of clothes and rosemary challenge. I love the smell that rosemary gives me. I decided to make a big bottle of the clove water so that I can use throughout the four days that is remaining because the one I made has finished. This is the next day into this clove challenge and I want to say that if you have low porosity, do not do this challenge. Do not consider putting clove on your hair for 7 days strict because it's going to make your hair stiff, strong and brittle because you have low porosity. I did the water test to check what my hair type is and that's how I learned I have low porosity hair and apparently with low porosity hair, you gotta stay away from protein. And here I am spraying protein, one fourth cup of cloves okay spraying protein on my hair every day day and night wondering why it's breaking off but if you want to do this challenge as a low porosity hair you should be doing it once a week today is thursday and i have like three days left for me to finish this challenge when i say very tense i'm really tense because i have my clove butter my clove oil and my clove spray these three things these are the things i've been using on my hair since i started this challenge so here is my clove butter here. this butter has honey in it it has honey clove oil then the butter itself i put honey in my butter because in nigeria right now we're in hamatan city and hamatan when it's hamatan there's a lot of dust and there's a lot of sand and the environment the air itself is just dry so i add honey in it honey attract water in the atmosphere in your hair but there is no water in the atmosphere right now so the water that is on my hair the honey in the butter will helps keeps that water in my hair for a long period of time before it evaporates that is the main reason why i put honey into my clove butter and the next thing again i use my clove oil to do this challenge i apply this clove oil on my hair then after i must have finished with my clove water this is my clove water the oil is already on my channel but the butter i did not record it and when making my butter i did not melt it on fire to be oily and put it in the fridge before starting the butter you can see it's very creamy and fluffy this butter did not pass through fire or any heat i'm doing this challenge on a very clean scalp three days left for me to finish this challenge and i say let me come up and show you how i do moisturize my hair when doing a clove challenge because clove can dry your hair if you do not apply anything 
on it. Clove has a little protein in it, so that protein causes hair dryness. So I use my clove oil and my clove butter to seal in the moisture to say for a while before I re-moisturize my hair again. This butter helps me a lot. I'm going to massage my hair upside down for the oil to penetrate in your hair. I use olive oil when making my clove because olive oil penetrates in your hair better than thick oil. So that's the reason why I use lighter oil when making my clove oil to help penetrate and promote hair growth for me so that it won't just sit on my scalp. I will spray this clove on my hair before I use this butter. This is day six in my clove challenge. I'm seeing the the results. Also, my hair is shiny. That is the another part I love about clove. It makes your hair shiny. It makes your hair strong but not hard if you really know how to use clove properly it will give you the positive results spray this clove on my edges because that is where i'm struggling the most my edges and my scalp and when i'm moisturizing my hair i focus more on my ends because my ends has been with me since i started my hair journey now i use my butter to seal in the clove and rosemary water i pour on my hair and this butter has honey in it this moisture has stayed on my hair for two days yes i have high porosity hair and for me moisture to stay on my hair even though it's a matter season for two days that is a lot of moisture and that means the moisture is heavy on my hair try this butter and do this challenge if you have low porosity do it three times or once in a week cloves makes my hair strong healthy and also add shine to your hair challenges are really good when you want to grow your hair it makes you pay attention on every single thing you're putting on your hair and it makes you understand your hair better what your hair likes and what your hair don't like i am on the last day this is day seven and i decided to lose my hair and pour this clove on my hair i lose my hair I take down my braids and I massage my hair after massaging my hair i see my hair with clove oil the results i got my hair got so strong that is the number one outstanding thing and this is my hair afterwards this challenge is worth trying thank you so much for watching this clove and rosemary challenge and you thank you so much for stopping by mm -hmm. some kisses coming your way take it bye